Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am starting a new video series for DevOps concepts and this is the first video. Alright, so let's start. So what is DevOps? And uh, we will start with the definition. So DevOps stand for uh, development operations and by definition it is a set of tools, uh, practices or methods that help in uh, reducing the time to deliver applications to customers. Okay, some people call it a specific culture uh, that an organization uh, adopts wherein uh, the developer and uh, other IT operations team they work uh, collaboratively to deliver applications. Okay, so in general it improves application delivery. The whole purpose of uh, DevOps is to improve the way application reaches from a developer's laptop to end users or customers. Okay, so that means the delivery of the application from the starting point to the destination that is the uh, the customers or end users so the whole point of having a devops is to improve this application delivery life cycle or you can say the application delivery pipeline okay so the process should be efficient and it should be less time consuming right so uh, that is what we aim for uh, in devops isn't it all right so this is like the clear goal of devops is to reduce the time in delivering the application to the customers and having uh, the process uh, very efficient okay in terms of how we are uh, you know dealing with the challenges that comes up or i mean how we are uh, taking care of different tasks that are required to be followed as part of the application delivery all right now let's go to the next slide there's nothing much in this slide but it, it is just for uh, uh, illustration reasons all right but i'm going to give you uh, the concept in such a way that you understand it clearly to the deep level and then you can just I mean, build upon that all right so next is why we need it okay why we need devops <clears throat> so uh, we need it to automate uh, manual processes that are there to deliver applications so we can say that devops brought the world of automation okay and why we are uh, trying to automate tasks so that we can reduce the number of errors that come up while doing things manually and also uh, to save us a lot of time as well all right so we have reduced the time of entire software development life cycle all right and we are able to automate the things as well so that is the main reason why we need devops okay uh, one more thing why we need it is i mean while we are able to reduce the time by automating the tasks okay we do not need to compromise on the quality of the final product or application okay so this is another benefit so we are still able to perform all the tests on our product or applications and we are able to continuously monitor and troubleshoot any errors that arise okay so all this has become a possible these days using the devops methods and practices okay and that is why uh, uh, different organizations are trying to adopt to this uh, devops culture so that they can use all the benefits of it to make their application delivery as efficient as possible okay so you see all the benefits that we're able to get by uh, following the uh, devops practices let's see an example uh, now to understand this entire uh, concept of devops in a better way <clears throat> so let's uh, talk about a time like uh, 10 to 15 years ago I think before 2007 or 2008 when DevOps first uh, I mean burst onto the scene. So when DevOps wasn't there, okay, when DevOps wasn't there, uh, the developers, they used to write codes on their computers or laptops, okay. Then they would push this code to a central code repository or source code management tool, 
okay uh, then either a systems administrator or a server administrator would create a new server with the configuration that is in accordance to the application that they want to deploy okay so uh, this server uh, that they have built this server could be in the development environment or it could be in the staging environment okay it depends on the company how many different environments that they have uh, including production okay uh, so so now after this server is, is built by the systems administrator another person which would be called a build and release engineer at that time all right would deploy this code to the new server as an application okay so now the code has been deployed on the new server the new server was built by the systems administrator okay and the server which was built which uh, it was built in uh, i'm taking care of the requirements or the dependencies that uh, that application had all right and uh, i mean whatever configuration in terms of cpu ram network capacity and uh, other other things so uh, uh, it was the job of the systems administrator to take care of all that all right now then another person which would be called a tester at that time would test this new application on the new server which has been deployed by the build and release engineer okay now if the new application pass the tab, uh, tests okay if the new application pass the tests then the same app will be deployed or sometimes it is it is also called uh, promoted okay to another environment to the higher environment you can say like staging or user acceptance testing or uat environment okay so i mean once again it depends from company to company projects to projects how many uh, you know different working environments they they have so i'm talking about a very simple or the most i mean basic uh, type of setup where you have a development environment you have a staging environment you have a uat environment and you have a production environment so in those uh, in, in that case this same application will be deployed from one server to the other okay i mean going through a different environments after successful testing okay which will be confirmed by the tester okay so it means that successful application tests are going to uh, keep promoting the application from one environment to the other till production right till production now the problem with this type of setup is that it takes many days for it to complete okay somewhere between 10 to 21 days or even higher at times okay and this whole process is completely manual since there was no automation tools or techniques available at that time i'm talking about the time before devops okay uh, before 2007 2008 okay approximately so <clears throat> So that is why uh, we required DevOps at that time to make this entire process okay faster, all right. Uh, and we were also looking to automate a lot of the the things that we were trying to do uh, manually. Uh, when we do some things manually, they are always prone to error. So if we have an uh, I mean uh, if we have a process where we can uh, just try to uh, uh, automate all these things so that is always less prone to errors okay so to summarize everything we need devops nowadays to achieve the following in application deployment and delivery okay so what do we need uh, we should be able to continually automate the tasks okay we should be able to improve the quality of applications that we are trying to deliver to the customers or end users okay we should be able to continually monitor the applications okay uh, using some monitoring tools like uh, prometheus grafana elk stack and other tools that are uh, there okay and being able to continually perform all application tests as well in less time before delivering the application to the end users or our customers okay so uh, we are trying to improve everything okay and we are spending less time over it 
okay so this was the whole point that uh, a lot of these uh, uh, companies are trying to adopt to this devops culture all right so this is all about the I mean, basics of devops okay I mean, I mean what is devops and why we need it okay so all, all right uh, i hope you uh, all understood all the fundamentals of uh, devops clearly if any one of you still have any questions okay please put it in the comment section and i'm going to answer all the queries and please uh, like and share my videos with others to support my work and subscribe to my channel all right guys i am going to end the video now and i will see you in the next one bye for now